What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people, and it's Friday. TGIF. It's Friday, people, and we're back again with some more disposable, but this one's a little different. Really big battery. Got a little mouthpiece cap. Anyway, today, people, we are taking a gander at the Vazol Gear 10,000. That's right, the Vazol Gear 10,000. And the 10,000 means 10,000 puffs. That's right, people. 10,000 puff vape right here. Okay, so we're dealing with the disposables. Got a lot going on. Let me tell you. So what these are, these are 20 mil capacity, 500 milliamp hour, 10,000 puff mesh coil having disposables with USB-C charging. They also have a little mouthpiece thing, a little carabiner that you can hook on the lanyard or you can just put the mouthpiece on, it's multifunctional, okay? So that's what's going on, that's what's going on. And this is what we got. And we're gonna start this thing off with a very interesting flavor. We're gonna start things off with peach mango smoothie. That's right people, peach mango smoothie. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Not too much on the mango either. Well, it's a little aftertaste, but that's pretty good. Peach is definitely driving this car. Air flow's a little tight, but um, good sweet flavor. That's a good point starting out. Ooh. They blended that well. It's like 50-50, but the mango isn't overpowering. And then they got this creamy kind of culotta to add the smoothie effect. I think that's pretty nice. And then when I'm done, bloop. My top is protected. Nothing's going in there. Not too shabby. On to the next one, people. All right, folks. This next one is exotic. We got Kiwi Guava Passion Fruit. Holy crap. Talk about exotic fruits. This is that. Oh, that's weird. That's a lot. Almost gives it a pomegranate kind of appeal. Sweet. A lot of flavor. I guess kiwis at the very beginning, but then the passion fruit and guava blend in such a unique way. Could be a good mixed drink right there. We might have to try a kiwi guava passion fruit mixed drink. That's uh, that's not too shabby. That's actually better than I anticipated. I was a little scared of this one. Turned out pretty good. I might vape on this. This isn't bad. On to the next one, people. All right, next up we have cedar berries. Yeah, cedar berries. Like, I get berries, but the cedar, I don't know, man. Oh, this is weird. I get the berries on the aftertaste, but the inhale is like some kind of, I guess, cedar. Okay. Not as bad when it mixes, but um, that's still a weird one. Cedar berries. That's that initial taste. It's like this oaky, wood-like musk mixed with berries. I'm not sure about that one, people. I'm not too sure. On to the next one. All right, folks, next up we have strawberry smoothie. And if that other smoothie is any indication, this should be pretty good. Let's see what we got. Ooh, whoa. I didn't expect that much cream. So this is like straight up strawberry milkshake, creamy, sweet, frothy. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. That's straight up a strawberry. I give it more of a milkshake than smoothie because smoothies are more kind of fruity, not as creamy. But uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a good mix. On to the final flavor, people, and I'm dreading it. All right, people, last but not least, we have lemon mint. <sighs> lemon mint. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're going to see. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. That's better than I anticipated. It reminds me of uh, an Italian icy, the shaved ice. This is a lemon shaved ice flavor. It's actually all right. That's, yeah, lemon mint. That's actually, that's like, it's like Italian ice, Italian shaved ice, lemon flavor. Actually not bad. I was dreading that and it ended up being okay, actually. My wife should love this. Anyway, people. 
you know what time it is. I'm going to go gather my thoughts and I'm going to come back at you folks here momentarily with some scores. All right, people, I am back and I have scores. I do have scores. All right, first up, Peach Mango Smoothie gets a 9 out of 10. Easily my favorite flavor in the bunch. Tasted really nice. Kiwi Guava Passion Fruit gets an 8 out of 10. I didn't think I'd like it, but damn it, that, they mix well together. I like them. Cedar Berries gets a 5 out of 10. Uh, the berries would have been fine on their own, but that cedar, hard sell. Strawberry Smoothie gets an 8 out of 10. I thought it was very well done. It's really a strawberry milkshake and a very well done strawberry milkshake, but it is labeled as smoothie, so 8 out of 10. And last but not least, surprisingly, Lemon Mint gets a 7 out of 10. It was actually better than I anticipated, and it's actually pretty vapable. And there you have it, people. These are my thoughts on the Vazol Gear 10,000. I gotta say, it's a lot of vape, 10,000. Also, they said they charge from 10 to 100% in 45 minutes on a USB-C charger. So that's cool. They charge pretty, I guess that's quick. I'm not sure. I always just plug the shit up and leave it and vape something else. But I don't know. That's pretty quick. Overall, you got your tip to protect it with the thing. You can put a lanyard on it. Pretty cool little device. Overall, not too shabby, folks. Not too shabby. And that's what I got for you. That's what I got for you. So, uh, Thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are fan-fucking-tastic. Also, shameless plug is shameless. I stream early in the morning every day on YouTube. Chill on Twisted 420 channel. Link in the description. Stop in and say hi. Playing Call of Duty. And remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. Even if it does have a, a cap you can put on the top. As long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important, people. And last but not least... <laughs> You stay sexy, YouTube, from Bubbles and Twist It. <laughs>